Yes, I will. Thank you. And I'm going to get out of here because I still think this room is really creepy. Even though these are the most dead things in the entire mansion. <laughs> it's just taxidermy itself looks really creepy because it's uncanny. At least zombies are... Well, zombies are uncanny, but they're a different type of uncanny because they're still un in unfamiliar territory. Um, they look different enough from what we're used to that they don't terrify us to the same extent that a humanoid-looking robot or puppet looks like. That's why... People find creepy dolls scarier than a zombie. Because a zombie, especially because it's been in the in popular culture so long, is no longer identified as human. But a doll is identified as human. That's why we give them to children to play with, to pretend that they're human. Alright, so let's see. And that's why I'm scared of that room more than I am scared of the zombies. Alright, so what do we want to do? We want to take the lighter. And we want to go back and see if we can use that on the fireplace. Because if that turns out what I needed to if that turns out to be what I needed to do to get that last key. So I can Wait, last key. Never said I needed a last key, but if that turns out to be something that I needed to do in order to get the passcode or whatnot, I'm gonna be so pissed. This is just gonna be like, how much of an idiot could I be? But then... That would have given us a lot of stuff early. So I don't know. I don't know. Plus, I feel like someone might have been like... Well, no, because nobody pointed out the map and lighter thing. Which means that you guys are being fantastic people with spoilers. Thank you very much. Um, because the last thing that I want to happen in this in this game is for someone to tell me something I've missed, because that makes it easier and, le um, by extension, less scary. And also, by extension, makes this less fun. I wasn't sure. I thought I heard a buzzing sound or something. It's kind of... just a little bit nervous about that. About that. Alright. So, let us light, or attempt to light this fire. Can't use it here. Well, I guess we can't use it there. You sure? Okay, that's, that's, that's cool with me. Still think there's something up with that base. Though probably nothing. <laughs> It's telling me straight out there's nothing in there. I don't know why I keep checking. Alright, I want to check behind here again. Because, I mean, it seems... Like there should be something back here. That this wouldn't be here just completely randomly. Like, there should be some reason for it. Get around the pillar. Okay, map time again. So let's see. We want to... Well, we know we can't get in the mirror room right now. Can we? No, we can't get in the mirror room right now. I'm assuming that we have to do something with that altar or whatnot in order to get in there. In order to unlock it. So, hmm, I'm thinking our best bet is to go by the second floor. Yeah. Because I know we've already dealt with the zombie on that uh, backward C-shaped hallway 
off of the main hall. And then we just have the lizard man to deal with next to the stairs that we've dealt with before. We can go through the spare room in order to get around him. This is a good plan. I like this plan. Okay, let's see. I've done a lot. No. Oh, good. Can't believe I missed you and wasted an ant. Uh, a, a bullet. Ugh. I'm disgusted at myself now. Oh, God. I forgot about you. I can't believe that. That's That was really foolish of me to forget about him. And also to just run around with carefree... Well, I'd rather waste a bullet than waste health. Because I know going through here that we're going... Wait a minute. Why are you in here? Wait a minute. Is there something I missed? No. Then why would you be in here? Unless they were expecting someone to go through here. Because they didn't want to end up facing this guy head on. Head on, apply directly to the forehead. Head on, apply di or directly to the forehead. <laughs> Alright, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Go through the door, and now we're safe. We can just ignore that guy. <laughs> we should be able to go through, and he'll be back where he was before. Oh, thank God. Their programming is not smart enough to have him just wait there. Cool, cool, cool. We are doing fantastic. All right, so let's pick up the battery and we'll come back for the crank. I think that's a good idea. Maybe. Well, we don't need the lighter. Well, wait a minute. Hmm. No, I'm just going to take both the battery and the crank. Because we're going to use them both pretty quickly. Because we just need to go around and use the battery. And then we need to go back and use the crank. The thing I'm worried about is I don't know if there are going to be lizard men in the garden courtyard now. Uh, or if I can just go through there safely. Oh yeah, by the way, the reason I'm not going through this hallway at all is because we've thoroughly explored there. Gotten everything that we need. And I'd rather not find out if there are lizard men over there. <laughs> oh wait, no, didn't we go through this way first? Yeah, we came back for the herbs. What? Oh, darn it. Nothing is nothing is sacred anymore. They're just coming back all over the place. Well, it must be because we picked up the battery. All right, nobody over here. That's good at least. hear any footsteps, which is also a good sign. Uh, 
and he's not taking aim at anybody. Okay. It's clear. But I'm gonna bet you that they're here now. I'm gonna bet you all 20 Pocos that there's at least one lizard man here. No, okay. Bet you they'll come out when I go down here. No. Oh, okay then. Run past the snakes. We're used to this at this point. See ya, Snakey Juniors. Snakey Junior. <laughs> They're not here either? No. Hmm. Now I'm confused. So that just goes against everything that I would think to be true about where these guys spawned. Well, you know what? They'll probably be up here now. Because you know how, just how much this game hates me. I almost want to close my eyes so, so I don't have to see. No? Hmm. Now this is odd. Why are you being nice, game? There's no reason for me to pick this up, but I'm going to pick it up anyway. Might find a use for it. Or it might just end up y using up an inventory space. Who knows? Alright, let's go back through. That bet for 20 Pocos still stands if they're here, by the way. Nope. Hmm. No lizard men. Well, unless this is supposed to create a false sense of security for Chris and me, by extension, I'm severely disappointed in you, game. Where are they? It almost makes no sense for things to be this serene. Nothing. Nothing at all. Is this green or blue? Green or blue? Green or blue? You're blue. Well, I don't need you. All right, well, let's go bet, put the crank back. Wait a minute. Let's go put the crank back in the guard house. Because I think I left one green herb down there. I also do, do want to check this out. Nobody at all. Well, we found out... Courtyard. Oh, okay, here we go. Um, where are we? I don't know where that brings us.
Okay, that brings us under the reservoir. Well, I'm not going that way quite yet. Sounds like a dance with death, if I've ever heard one, that's about to come up. Instead, I'll go this way. Hedge my bet on there not being any new enemies here. Guess who was right? <laughs> Hopefully. Well, we can pay a visit to Rebecca, see if she's made any headway with anything as well. That might be a useful endeavor. And we'll do that next time on Let's Blindly Play Resident Evil with me, Oxfu. Take it easy, guys. Do we have anything? Just the MO disc. Hmm. Nothing special.